We recognize from the corporation's financial statements between 2014 and 2017, average pay per worker in the sugar industry has declined on average by $284,000. Undoubtedly, it must be difficult for the workers to look around and see their relatives and friends employed elsewhere, benefiting from increases in pay and improved working conditions, whereas they are worse off than they were four years ago. That was General Secretary of the Guyana Agriculture Workers Union, C. Paul Narayan, speaking of the plight sugar workers continue to face in Guyana. Narayan, who was addressing the union's end-of-year press conference, says when considering the wages earned by workers represented by GAU, taking into account the seasonality of their jobs, it's hard not to conclude that the field and factory workers take home pay have recorded even for the declines. It is indeed saddening to note that the cooperation has in some respect, come full circle from the period of the latter 1980s. At that time, a nearly identical situation presented itself and was only really corrected when workers' pay rates aligned themselves with reality. On this score, we recall what former UK Prime Minister Winston Churchill famously said 70 years ago, quote, those who fail to learn from history are condemned to repeat it. Speaking about sugar production, Narin said as at week ending December 22nd, sugar production for the year stood at 1,311 tons for all remaining estates. While the union representative has expressed satisfaction with the fact that government has offered a bonus to sugar workers, it said this initiative is nothing new to the industry. Workers, he said, remain concerned that the cooperation has yet to consider the union's claim for a 15% raise in pay retroactive to January 1, 2018. At this time, the GAU and Gaisuko have already concluded discussions on the non-wage benefits. Those engagements resulted in a few improvements being secured. Gawu says 2018 was indeed a remarkable year. It brought justice through somewhat delayed to workers. It demonstrated the correctness of the union's position and showed that despite adversity and difficulty, workers can succeed to realizing their reasonable objective. Reporting for the Evening News, I am Leah Hernandez.